Hey there crazy kids, I am the good old gamer and by request by some of my viewers I'm going to quickly kind of show you how I go about uh, putting my videos together to upload for YouTube. Now some of my viewers have said that when they record with Fraps they just straight upload the videos to YouTube from Fraps and you really really shouldn't do that uh, unless you have a specific purpose in mind because Fraps videos, the raw footage is just huge, it's just gigantic and here I'll show you why. So this is the Fraps folder where all of the videos are kept. Now I record my videos in 1280 by 720 resolution usually because um, that's the setting I play the games at so and I record like an hour, hour and a half long ses sessions at a time and most of these videos are uh, right under 10 minutes. I think this first one is 9 minutes and 42 seconds or something. And it's 4 gigabytes. They always end up right around 4 gigabytes if you're having continuous footage. This last one is smaller because it was the end of the recording ses session, so it wasn't quite a full uh, video for Fraps. But look at this. Each one of these are 4 gigabytes. 4 gigabytes per video. And they're under 10 minutes. Each one of these are under 10 minutes in each video. So that's a lot of video to upload for a fairly short amount of time. Uh, I can't imagine how long this would take somebody to upload, but I've had viewers say that they've uploaded straight from Fraps to YouTube, and you really, really shouldn't do that. You should compress these uh, files down. In doing so, you can make the videos even longer, assuming YouTube gives you the ability to upload longer videos. Um, and if it doesn't, you can still upload 15 minute videos, which none of these are 15 minutes each. None of them. So it's always good to edit them together and compress them down. So what I do is for a straight up video where I'm just putting the videos together and putting them up on YouTube and I'm not adding in a bunch of special effects or any of that, I just use Windows Movie Maker it's quick and easy and simple. The program comes right on the computer. I mean, for me, it came right on Vista. I don't know about Windows 7, but shouldn't be too hard to find. And uh, all I do is find the videos and put a couple of them together. Usually two of them is about enough to get a 20 minute video out. And this one's 22 minutes, so that's fine with me. And one thing you want to do is make sure that if you're using a widescreen high definition setting, you want to make sure that uh, it's set to 16.9 in the project settings. Uh, in some of my earlier videos for original Mass Effect and even Fallout 3, I had it set to this just because this was the default setting, so I never changed it. I didn't even know about this setting for the longest time. Uh, so there was always like a black border around the video and uh, that was kind of silly but make sure if you're using HD resolution that you have the widescreen setting there and if you're not using HD resolution then the standard 4x3 setting is fine but uh, then I go save and I have custom settings I don't use any of these default ones because I don't really like the default settings so I just have some custom ones. I tend to use this one. The reason why I have two of these is because this one, when I first made the custom 1280 by 720 setting, I had it on the default audio and this one has a low, a little bit lower audio quality, but that in turn makes the video, video files that are compressed down a little bit smaller, which is a little helpful. And the audio quality in, in the gaming videos that I make, there, there's no noticeable difference between this setting and this setting so I tend to use this one more and of course these are for the um, standard defini definition videos like the uh, uh, like the Q&A videos that I make most of the time they're usually just standard definition smaller videos but for the average game video I use this setting 1280 by 720 I name the video and I save it so once that's done, and it takes about the same length of time to render out a video for me 
as it does to watch the video. So for this 22 minute video, it'll probably take around 25 minutes to render this video out. Now that of course all depends on your computer speed, your processor, all of that. Um, so it may take you longer, it may take you less to do the same amount of rendering. All depends on your computer at that point. But even even if it takes you a little longer, it'll still be better than the original Fraps videos for four gigabytes. God, that was ridiculous. So anyways, when that's all done and ready to go, um, let's see, that's the original Fraps videos, four gigabytes each, under 10 minutes each video. And this these right here, starting with this one, are the compressed down, edited together, rendered out videos. You can see this one here is 668 megabytes, almost 669 megabytes, under a gig, and it's twice as long video footage using the same video files as in here, but it's using these first two, which would have been together like 8 gigabytes or more. Now it's under a gig for those two, and it's 22 minutes of video footage. And this is what I use to upload to YouTube. Uh, and for me, based on my internet speed and when I upload and all that, it takes about an hour, hour and a half, depending on the video. Uh, most of my videos are under a gig. Some of them are under half a gig. Some of them are a little bit over a gig. It just depends on the video length and the sp specific game footage I'm using. but. All in all, it takes me about an hour, hour and a half. Now, your internet speed, of course, will determine how long it takes you. It may take you longer. It may take you less. If it takes you less than, like, an hour to upload one of these videos, I hate you because I wish it would do that for me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that all depends, really, on internet speed and the time you upload because there are prime internet times where, like, everybody and their dog's on the internet and it takes you forever and times where seems like almost nobody's on and they'll go right through and of course YouTube has its issues with failing uploads for videos and that's another reason why I couldn't compress these videos down is because the smaller the video file the the quicker it gets onto YouTube and the less chance that YouTube has to sit there and fail one um, but yeah that's what I do hopefully I've been kinda clear on how I get my videos up on YouTube and how I make such uh, decently long ones and without taking forever to upload each one is because I don't upload the default Fraps video files. I just don't. I compress them together. I, lo I uh, save on the file size. And you don't really lose any quality, at least I haven't seen. You don't really you, you lose any noticeable quality compressing the videos down. So it's definitely worth doing. And you don't have to use Windows Movie Maker if you don't want to. Uh, or if you can't, like if you're on a Mac or something, use de whatever default uh, video editing program you have that comes on your computer or a good free one that you can find to download from the internet somewhere, you know, use that. Uh, Windows Movie Maker for Vista that came with my computer works just fine for me. Um, if I'm doing more special effects like custom titles or zooming in or that sort of thing, then I uh, tend to use Vegas Movie Studio, but it renders out so much longer than Windows Movie Maker. The same 20 minute video that takes about 20, 25 minutes to render out in Movie Maker takes Vegas Movie Studio an hour or more to render out. It just takes forever, so I don't use it unless I'm using um, special effects and that sort of thing, but even your basic movie editing program can put two of the Fraps videos together for you and compress it down if that's all you want to do and that's what I do most of the time so nothing too tricky about it anyways so that should cover everything thanks for watching boys and girls if I've missed something or if I haven't been clear on something if you have questions let me know in the comments below and I'll see about answering them but uh, I'm gonna call it good for now thanks for watching boys and girls and as always bye for now